first day of fall and I'm pulling up the solar panels for winter. Um, these are panels that we got from a neighbor that um, didn't want to reinstall them on the house. The expense was too much to keep taking them off, reinstalling them because their roof kept going bad. Um, this one I've just taken out and put on the um, south west possibly corner of the house and from it sitting for so long it's been like um 2006 since we brought it down here and then <laughs> silk is back there scratching the house i have this other one back here that i still have to get pulled out it's kind of hard to get it done they're pretty heavy these were about ten thousand dollars installed when our neighbor had them installed and from sitting around um, either water or condensation or something you can tell is built up on the inside and then I'm gonna have to re the outside right here the rubber or silicone is missing in places it's pretty much silicone and the back side is I'm not sure if that's steel or aluminum. I assume it's a heavy gauge aluminum. I should get a magnet and find out. But, um, even after sitting out here all this time, the heat that's coming out of the back, you know, they're pretty hot. I need a, what do you call it, thermometer. But it's not hot enough. You know, it's hot enough in there. But um, I need a thermometer. There's one up here and then one down here. To um, This one down here I think has a fan in it. There's a, an electrical connection to it. And then... Not sure why the, there's wire around it. But it looks like there's some screws on the back side where I can take this apart and clean it up on the inside and rebuild it if I want to. So I'm happy about that. But I'm going to see how well it produces this winter. I'd like to add a um, greenhouse to the side of the house and put in a um, rocket stove or a rocket mass heater I guess you would call it and not quite sure yet how I would do the roof because this house has been built onto and built onto and built onto it's like I guess you can't see through the bush the front part of the house was built first and believe it or not it was in the late 50s early 60s a neighbor told me that it was built when he was a little kid and then um there's like an 8x8 edition let's see this is the 8x8 edition and then the living room not, not living room um from the corner right there coming back to about um a couple feet after the window about halfway down right here um that's part of the kitchen and then the back half back here is like 12 by 12 i think and it's a laundry room that was built on too and then on the side back there is um 10 by 20 which is a bedroom and a bathroom that was built on too and that's a semi-flat roof. We constantly have to, um, if you can see the cinder blocks holding the edge of the roof down up there. You know, the one, let's see. There it is. The one keeps um, pulling the roof back, peeling it back from that corner back. So I'm going to have to come up with a solution for that. They want $1,500 to redo the roof. And the roof we've already got the most money into on this house. I think it was like $4,800 worth of 
wood and roofing material and labor with us ripping off the layers ourselves. But um, these two solar panels were put on about a 1,200 square foot house, and this one is about 1,200, so it should be adequate. It's not going to be a great savings, but it's going to be some savings if we get um, sunlight this winter. Um, I haven't quite, sh you know, figured out how I'm going to install them and where. At the moment, I'm test driving the sun, and I know it might change a little more. But um, it's about 4 o'clock this afternoon, first day of fall. And let me come over here. If you look up in the sky, let's see if I'm getting it. The mulberry tree and the silk. Let me move back. It's directly in my face here. When you come over to the solar panel here, if you look down, here's about the center of the solar panel. You put the camera here, and that's where the sun is um, hitting the panel center. So I'm going to have to figure out um, a south direction, looking in the mornings and looking in the afternoon and looking at nighttime exactly where it hits. I know the angle for the panel should be 38.8 degrees. Um, or it's like the tilt, you know, from, I have to get a compass and go from, you know, here down the, this may be at the right degree as it's sudden, but I don't know that for a fact until I find a compass. I don't know if it's called compass or, you know, what it's called right now. My high school math is missing from my brain. But, um, I'm hoping that this will, you know, go into the house and then the other one will be put over in that direction on that corner and take care of the front and this will take care of the back half of the house. And it's pretty much like a science experiment with, um, wonderful gifts that are recycle and reuse gifts, you know, that someone else was going to just get rid of. I'm really happy to finally, you know, be able to possibly um, use them. But that's my update today. Um, happy fall, everyone, and thanks for watching.